Let's go to Mark 12, 41 through 44. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And Jesus sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury. And many that were rich cast in much. So many rich people were giving money in the treasury. 42. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites, which make a farthing. So she gave about a few cents, or something like that. 43. And he called unto his disciples, and saith unto them, Verily, I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast more in than all that which have cast into the treasury. So Jesus called over the disciples to tell them that this widow, who gave only a few cents in the treasury, gave more than the rich people, which gave more than her. But Jesus is saying that this widow have given more than the rich people. And you may say, how is that possible? Okay, let me continue. 44. For all they did cast in of their abundance. So the rich people had so much money. So even when they gave much, that much was not much for the rich people. Because let's say that you make $10 million a year. If you gave 500000 to a church or something like that, many people may say that is a lot. But for that rich person, that is not a lot. Because this person makes so much money. Does that make any sense? It really should. So, for all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. So the reason why Jesus is saying that this widow gave more than those rich people, because this widow gave everything, gave all that she had. So what I want to say to you, God is not looking at amount, he is looking at sacrifice. So you may be having, or you may have like a church or a ministry right now, and you may think, well, my church is very small, or my ministry is so small. I am not able to do as much as these larger ministries. Yes, those larger ministries may be able to do a lot more than you, but what Jesus is saying here, he is looking at your sacrifice. Your sacrifice means a lot more than amount. So even if you have little on this earth, so what? Do much with what you have, even if you don't have that much. Yes, you may have only two or three members at your church or your home Bible studies and stuff like that. Do a lot or make big sacrifices, sacrifices with what you have. God is looking at your sacrifice, not amount. So you don't need a big ministry as these people on TV and stuff like that. He is looking at what you are doing with what you have. This should really make sense and this should really change your thinking. So you don't have to be a big time preacher or a big time minister and stuff like that. You don't need a huge church. You just need to sacrifice. Does that make any sense? 
Sacrifice is what God looks at. If you really want to get great things from God, <clears throat> if you really want to get great things from God, sacrifice a lot. Or sacrifice with what you have. If you really want to move God, sacrifice. So stop comparing yourself with other people. I know that it is human nature for people to compare what they have with other people. If you do that, you are really going to hurt yourself more. Because God doesn't give everybody or everyone the same amount of things. He does not do that. Some people are born crippled. So does God expect that cripple to do as much as a person who is healthy? Of course not, because that cripple don't have the same capacity as that healthy person. So if God gave you more, he is going to expect more. If God gave you less, he is going to expect you at that level of what he has given you. So, the more that you get from God, the more that he is going to expect from you. So, if you are not, if you have not received as much as an other person, God is expecting more from that person than from you. So, what I am trying to say, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Do good with what God has given you now. This should really touch your heart here. It really should because I know some people may need to hear this. Do good with what you have now. Okay, God bless.